This is not my sword. Oh, donkey. Wait a minute. Don Quixote? Who's so without <laughs> this sword? Oh, it's the sword in the stone. What? The sword in the stone. Something about a stone? <laughs> Speaking of stones. So we were supposed to record yesterday. We are supposed to cast, go eat and stuff. And then I had to go to the emergency room. Why, you ask? Why? Why did you have to go Why? to the emergency room? Well, good, I w- good job, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up in an extreme amount of pain in my lower abdomen and was freaking out. And then it became unbearable. Like, I was writhing on the floor, didn't know what to do. Thought maybe an organ burst, my fucking appendix or something. Go to the ER. Turns out, got a kidney stone. A kidney stone. Yes. What a shit sandwich. Fuck. So they hooked me up to an IV, gave me a bunch of drugs, fucking made sure it wasn't too big, that it needed to be surgical removed or anything uh gave me some scripts and sent me on my way so now i'm all drugged up waiting for this thing to pass nice. how does something like that even happen all right so there's some important information about kidney stones that i didn't know and i think the people who listen need to know because y'all need to lay off i feel the like mountain i need dew. to know is it the mountain dew <laughs> it's the mountain dew chase <laughs> i don't really drink mountain dew that much though no it it's can be caused mad. The thing is, a kidney stone can be caused from all kinds of things. And like they say, most people do already have them, but it just depends. And it's totally random of whether your kidney kicks it out or not. And so I always thought, you know, people say, oh, it's like it's like comparable to childbirth and the pain it is. I mean, I don't really know, but it was the worst pain I've ever felt. Worst pain you've ever been in. And I always had this misconception that it hurt because it was the stone going through your urethra, like you were pissing it out. For all you people that don't know what urethra is, it's your dick hole. But the thing is, it's not actually it passing through your dick hole that hurts. It's the stone comes out of your kidney, and the tube that connects your kidney to your bladder is so small that it just causes unbearable pain. So once it enters your bladder, you're good to go, and you'll piss it out, and it won't be too uncomfortable. But it traveling from your kidney to your bladder is the worst fucking feeling ever what hurt worse gonorrhea or a stone the stone easily what hurt worse fucking um crabs or uh stone the stone so, these are things that don't even hurt crabs don't hurt so assuming Just that your issues. nurses and doctor weren't lying you're through the worst of it right they said that okay. this is the worst part like you know she said most people when they pee it out they don't talk about any pain really it's just kind of like a whoop there it goes you know is your urethra is it can pass some stuff it's yeah and you plus you got the force of the piss going like it shouldn't be too bad what about we'll can see it, can I'll it come out it, yeah. in a stroke of motion you know what i'm saying like <laughs> Could you like jerk goo? it out? Could you goo it out? Oh, yeah. No, because that comes from a different part of your, you know, that jizz doesn't come from your does, bladder. Does Chase need like a, a basic anatomy <laughs> we gotta show course a, real quick? An Man, anatomy it's all coming from the same balls. hole. It uh, goes through the urethra, but it does not come from the same place. How it gets come. to the urethra <laughs> is different. But what if it's like hang, like half dick? Like what if it's uh, like at the shaft? But it's not going to because the only way it would get to the shaft is if I was pissing. It doesn't just... Well, like, what? okay, say, like, you had a a, a mediocre piss and it got it to about middle of the dick, but it didn't go all the way out, and then you fucking blew a fat load. (laughs) Boink! Hit your girl in the face with it. And she just gets a stone? Yeah. You get a little right in the third eye? like, like, yo, baby, let me stone ya. I'm not going to lie, but I was a little worried yesterday about uh, my little dude. Dude... I was. We were gonna too. come. We were gonna come to the hospital and be there. Bring me a cheesesteak. No, we weren't gonna bring you any food. <laughs> well, but we were we gonna. Were, I was. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they were hella expensive, dude. I mean, I wish I could. Oh afford my god, it. he keeps talking about how expensive <laughs> cheesesteaks are. Dude, uh, the cheese ER are expensive. Was fucking expensive. Dude, it's it, not as much as a prime rib. There you go. So. Yeah. And I got to say, man, I really did think that that was it, that that was lights out for a moment, especially like not just from the pain. But then when they took me to the CAT scan, I was like, fuck, this is how it happens. This is where they go. Oh, yeah, you got a kidney stone and you also have cancer everywhere. Right. Yeah, this you is know? where the this is that's where you go to die. You but know? luckily, I'm all right. And now we can be. Oh, thank God. We can do I'm it. glad you're still here with us. Man, Thanks, I, man. I thought we were going to get a free pass. <laughs> We're going to have to do it. Just going to hang out all weekend. <laughs> drink dues. Well, we got, got a lot of shit to talk about. Yeah, so, so welcome to the Triple B podcast. What's up, dudes? Welcome, welcome. I'm Zeb. Hey, Zeb. That's Abba. Hello. He's Chase. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah.
Is that your? That's how you greet people now? Yeah. 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 So last time, uh, last week, two weeks ago, whenever that was, um, we didn't get a chance to get to our Im- immense and quickly growing video game section. Yeah. Is that like fourteen days? <laughs> two a, for- weeks? a fortnight. A fortnight. <laughs> Um, yeah, should we start off with the video games since there's kind of some older news and we should just blow through that? Yeah, well, one. I'll tell you what, I have been, uh, playing you, games you, like Zeb, Zeb is gaming almost every day. Yeah, you're so like a full for like the last month. You are like a full on gamer. I resubscribed to Star Wars, the yeah, Old Republic. Really? And you're going to be gone in France for like fucking. <laughs> is that where he's going? He can't get the country straight. <laughs> Oh, Sam's going sorry. to Italy. Fucking Italy. But uh where he has to speak in italics. Yeah, it's gonna be badass. He's a world traveler. I'm not. I haven't been out of the country in like twenty two years. He's gonna travel to one country. He's really nervous, but I think you're twenty four years. Like everybody's really nervous, like <laughs> tour like uh there's like threats of fucking terrorists and shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Airport security. Oh my god, you're the worst. The Berglins are on so, red alert. L- tell us a bit about what you've been playing, Zeb. You've been playing Star Wars. Dude, okay, so yeah, so I'm I'm maxed out level sixty five on my Sith Sorcerer on yeah. Star Wars. I'm in the uh Knights of the Fallen Empire, which is the most recent expansion. Right, right. Um He kinda looks like Hellboy. Like for people that need to know what your Sith, like yeah, my character kind of looks like. like a cross between Hell Hellboy and like Darth Maul. Yeah, it's badass. And he's much. kind of big. He likes to dance. You can make him dance, and yeah. he's on Tinder too. Slash so. dance. Yeah, so ladies, yeah. if you're looking for a, a fellow Sith, um, you can find him. He's on not Tinder. on Tinder. He's on Bumble. Yeah. yeah. He's, a good he's on, so he's on FarmersOnly.com. Farmers only. He's a good looking bloke. So what else have you been playing? Because we've been giving you a shit ton of suggestions of like games that are okay, good, more so cinematic. Boom. I bought Firewatch. Yeah. That kind of kicked it off, right? Yeah. But you liked it. Played that, beat it, loved it. Right. I mean, beat it, finished it. That's one that everybody loves. It was like, really short. Yeah. And it was... I enjoyed it. It was different. Like, I didn't beat it, but I played a bit of it. So yeah, it really got it me interested in kind of like the story-based... Yeah, the more cinematic ones. Narrative, yeah, uh, point and click type stuff. Like, right. Not so demanding on. You got to find a rope and then you got to find where to tie the rope and then. Right, right. Boy, Chase, some, some dogs are barking. Some kind of like King's Quest, kind of like the old Sierra yeah, games. Yeah, except for they're new and yeah. they're way more involved and the voice acting's awesome. And, and there's so, cussing. The stories are crazy. There's yep, cussing. There's cussing. And if you get lucky, you might see a tit or two. <laughs> if you're lucky. Depends on the game. So after I finished Firewatch, I started looking for more games that were like that. Right, right. And I I played Life is Strange, which was crazy. I liked that one. It was awesome. It was a good play on that because, like, Telltale Games was kind of dominating that market. And Life is Strange, I believe, is Square Enix or something like that. But uh, it gave it a cool little twist with the time travel thing. Like, yeah. That, that was Would you play different. it on, Abba? On uh, Xbox. They Really? Yeah. Life is Strange is on console? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Why is that so surprising? I thought it was PC only. And it takes place in Oregon, which is kind of cool. You know, and that's another thing I've is noticed. Is it on PS4? Of, like, yeah. all the games I've been playing, they're either the stories based in Oregon, or a character Dude, in the story is from been Oregon. That's to me, too. Or the game creators are from Oregon. Right. Like, there's it, always well, an Oregon just, type. Well, and I've noticed it a lot with comic books, too. A shit ton of comic books that I've already read and stuff I'll look into later and be like, oh, this dude's from Portland. Or, like, Nailbiter takes place in Oregon. And, like, you know, it's just weird stuff where it's obviously this is becoming a central place for... Well, creation. like, and I even, I downloaded a Medal of Honor because it was, like, one of the free games on Steam. Right. And your char- the character you that you are in that game is from Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Medal of Honor... I don't know. Was it the first one? Uh, yeah, it was just Old called school? Medal of Honor, so I guess it was. Well, bad graphics, right? I mean, compared to now, yeah, but they were pretty cool. It's fun, Considering though. I didn't play games for like 20 years, right? I'm still impressed by like 2004 graphics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. grossed out about it. No, well, and it's yeah. weird, too, because you play some of the newer games, and then you even go back to like five-year-ago games, and you can tell the difference. Totally. But I always try to remind myself and catch myself, like, what am I talking about this is fine like it's good it's and it's still, fun still yeah. like i downloaded uh the last ghostbusters game right. which was from 2009 i think because we were watching the video uh the angry video game nerd did yeah. a, a cinemassacre they did a 
uh, basically his reason why he's not going to watch the new Ghostbusters movie. Which I completely agree with. And then he did like a tie-in video about why Ghostbusters 3 never happened and all the, you know. uh, So basically, that game is the closest we'll ever get to Ghostbusters 3. Interesting. Um, Interesting. So I went, so I wanted to check it out and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I played, uh, I'll just bleep blaze through these real quick i i downloaded and played gone home because it was a similar to those games right, sort of right that game sucked right yeah that's the game you got refunded yeah yeah so zeb bought this game called gone home <laughs> he just said he was gonna and blaze he fuck, through it. and he said yo i'm fucking gone getting my money back well i got to the end of the game which I thought was the end of the intro to the game. <laughs> and it was just I was like, game. you found the thing, and then it was like, okay, here, now we go into the real game. Right. No, roll credits. credits. Yeah, that's funny. Rough. Which, that's the thing with those more kind of narrative-based games, is that a lot of them will be short. And that's kind of why with, like, the Telltale games, I enjoyed the episodic way, because right. then you're like, you know that you're only getting, like, two hours. Totally. And that's the thing, you know, life is strange. You're talking to people. You're interacting with different characters. Right. Uh, a lot of them. A lot of people, and a lo- you know, a lot of decisions you get to make. Yeah. In Gone Home, literally all you're doing is searching a house and right. reading letters. So from it was your pretty sister. linear. It was just like this. There's just there's there's, you know, the only story element is that you're learning about basically about your sister deciding, realizing that she's a lesbian. She Hi. falls in love with a girl. Really? So it's right up your alley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right up my alley. Wow. What else you been playing? What uh, What is a uh, life is strange about? What's that like? That's fun. Like, what's it about? It's, it's a, about a girl yeah. who's going to high school. She moved from Oregon to Seattle when she while she was going to school, and then for her senior year, she moved back to Oregon and went back to her old town. And okay. So she's finishing school in her old. She's town. in college now. It's like a right. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's a high school, oh, okay. but they have like dorms. Right. I don't know. Mm, it's college, a, probably. Then. Well, that's what I. That's what I thought, but they treat it like high school. Right. It's right. about getting ready to go to college. Yeah, that's true. Um, Maybe it's but, like a Catholic school. Or but something. basically, but it's kind of screwed up. Yeah, like, it gets screwed up. But basically, she like finds out that she has like a somewhat of time travel abilities like she can go back in time a very short amount so she's not like a lesbian or anything <laughs> well no but there actually is a a little bit of a hint of yeah. something like that something going, going on, on. so with... basically wow. she sees Let's a girl get shot at school okay and she realizes at that point that she can reverse time rewind and, time and stop the murder and stops the shooting from happening but wow. then it's all this like butterfly effect stuff right, starts where it happening. changes things. Space time. It continuum. gets pretty fucked up. I need to finish it. I think I have one or two episodes left. It gets it a was, little bit disturbing at yeah. certain points where you're like, "Wow, like this is so, kind of serious." I fuck, do I need to go back and how, make a different uh, decision? How long did it take you to 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 beat it? Uh, I think it, I played for six hours total. It was like three nights, two hours each. Not very much, but it was okay. a lot more than goddamn. Could gone you home. stretch it out maybe longer? Yeah. There, I, there's a lot of stuff I didn't do. Like, you know, there's all like side, uh, yeah, go back. things you can, you, you know, complete. Yeah, go through and do all the side you can, missions. Like, do stupid th- things, like save a girl from getting hit by a football or falling in a pool or whatever, <laughs> like stuff like that. I don't think that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else that you? Because you've been going hard. Oh man, yeah. I, I mean, I could keep going. I, yeah, I, keep I going. I started the vanishing of Ethan Carter, which is similar, but it's, um, I don't know, a little bit more boring. I think you'd like uh, Murdered Soul Suspect. Yeah. That was a cool one where it's very story. You know, you're like you get you're a cop and you get killed and then you turn into this ghost and you have to try to solve your own murder. Um, Okay, that's that's similar to the Ethan Carter one. Okay, yeah, that kind of sounded like it. You're like trying to uh, solve a crime or this guy's missing. Ethan Carter's missing. So you're trying to find him. But then there's like a weird an astronaut and you end up in space for a minute and it's. Really confusing. Right. Jesus, man. Yeah, it's yeah. all over the place. Hmm. And then, uh, so I, I bought the new uh, Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Dude, I played some of that. Playing that. And yeah. it's cool. But you were on Morphine when you played it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. What um, was it like? No, it was cool. It was, uh, I enjoyed it. It's actually, I went on just normal mode or, or uh, to, you know, yeah, medium or whatever. But it was uh, more challenging than I expected. Well, that was the drugs. Well, no, it was actually pretty, like, because they kind of throw you in there without much, 
you know, like I'm pressing of. X, but nothing's happening. No, there's a lot. Well, there's really more pressing, than that. There, you're really pressing triangle. No, there's more than that. There's a bunch of special moves. Chase played it for move. about five minutes. He didn't do the tutorial, so uh, he didn't really. Oh, but I, I, I did pretty tutorial. good. I did pretty good. He was just button right. mashing, yeah. right, which right. you can actually succeed at that game doing. Yeah, yeah. I think we bit. all. Uh, I think we all were on the spectrum last night, boys. <laughs> sure, all did you? Spectrum. What have you been playing, Chase? Uh, Diablo. That's it, huh? That's all you ever play. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Paragon. I'm six. I'm, I'm about six thirty. Dude, we got four. ants at our house. Oh, yeah, and Chase oh. is being the biggest whiny little bitch about it. <laughs> he keeps he all he just comes upstairs and complains to me about the ants like. Like there's something I'm supposed to be able to do about well, it. You're like good you. at it. You know how to combat them. Yeah, except for that you argue with everything I tell you to do. Because <laughs> you're wrong. Did you set up sugar traps or anything? That's yeah. what I was trying to get him to do. I did, but it just made them congregate worse. They're that's because they're going to the trap to right. die. Why do they gotta be on, like right where my feet would be? If you I know got why? Because you spill shit there. Yeah, oh. you're always dropping food it's in your clean. shoe. It's clean, dude. I bleached it multiple times. I vacuumed. You gotta find. That's the why source. you don't eat. That's why you don't eat food in your bedroom. Fuck, I love it though. Man. Because you know what happens is an ant, the scout ant, finds that food, sends the signal, A little and then sonar all of them come. Oh, it sucks. And they don't stop even once you've gotten rid of the food. Yeah, they're animals, dude. But they're... you know, there's also shit you can do if you find where they're coming in from. Dave, yeah, I, I, I think he did out. figure it out. He put a trap in my cupboard. Uh, I mean, I gotta salute the little buggers, <laughs> but like at the same time, like. Fuck you, man. You know? You but, salute the little buggers? Well, dude, I mean, God bless them for their hustle, dude. <laughs> I wish, like, I could have that kind of drive. Like, I kind of <laughs> do, but, like... You're kind of like an ant. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll, you know... I'll if I want some, I'll I'll do it. When That's you true. find food, you just keep coming back and <laughs> just congregate. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, we got some video game news actually. Yeah, let's do it. Do you it. want to talk some game news, Chase? Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking about firing up the PS4 um, and getting uh, <laughs> Grand. I, I want to hit Grand Theft Auto Five again. Yeah, it's badass, and the online is fun. Yeah. Um, I've been fucking going hard on The Witcher Three. Yeah. And they just released another expansion. There's expansions? Yeah, there's two of them. Really? Yeah. Because I beat that game. Yeah, we'll do it, man. I beat Witcher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you took the shortest path. <laughs> no, I, I The put, path of least resistance. No, I swear to God, I, I put like 60 hours in that bitch. Oh, it's a long Maybe one, Maybe longer. Man. I'm only like level eight, and... Uh, oh, I'm way further I, than I've been you. taking my time, though, and hitting all the unknown locations and shit. Yeah, yeah, check out all the nooks and crannies. Contracts. Yeah, I did that too. I mean, you, you know, you got to go get all the shit. You know, but yeah, it's a, it's a grind. It's pretty fun. I'm digging it. It's, I love that game. Yeah, it's definitely one where you gotta you gotta get used to the whole combat system and the signs and everything. It's right. My it's my favorite game I've played. It was the first game I ever got on PS4. I like. I'm liking it's it. It's the only game I've beat. I'm on finding PS4. a lot of mechanic issues with it, man. Oh really. well, yeah, it's buggy as fuck. It's really buggy and like yeah, the fucking horse and shit. It's just like ah, but it's still fun. It's still super cool. But it's the girl, beautiful. the girl is playing Elder Scrolls though at the and same time. And you can time. fuck in that game. And I'm so jealous of the Elder Scrolls. I'm like, I can't wait to beat Witcher and get on. That That's even you've been telling me to get on the Elder yeah, Scrolls. Yeah, dude, it it fucking because I played the beta and I loved it, and then I just didn't have a good enough computer. And now that we have it on PS4. I'm like, fuck, this is so cool. Why don't you just play it? Because I'm playing Witcher. But I don't need two huge what? worlds in my life. Why not? That's hard. You can't really do two no. MMOs. And man. that's what fucked me up with Witcher 2 was I went to Witcher 2 right after I beat Skyrim. And it was just like, I can't do this all over again uh, so soon. You know, got to space it out. You got to really learn the world and the language right. and the combat system. And shit. So they've discontinued uh, Disney Infinity. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? I'm so glad because I was so thinking of buying that for Samara when they came out with the Star Wars ones and shit. Yeah. yeah, that shit flopped. And uh, no, it didn't. It didn't. It was doing really well. And it's a, they were making money hand over fist with it because you got to buy a new thing all the time. Yeah, but the thing is, I think that they just realized, like, I mean, that's a competitive market. You've already got Lego Dimensions, Skylanders, all that stuff, and they knew that, like, the the Disney's not a video game company. Just leave it up to the experts, you know. Right. So. I, I don't blame them, but I also feel super bad for everybody that invested a bunch of money into that shit. I don't feel bad for anyone. Well, we know that. 
<laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Those rich bastards, like not them. them, the people that have bought the game and the figures and stuff oh, to yeah. play. Well, at least they still have them, like on yeah, their I mean, wall. They can still play it. Still yeah. look at them. Still yeah, they can still play it for now. But there's just no continuing. Yeah, which sucks. It was kind of a. It was a cool idea. But I think that like Lego Dimensions is the way to go. Yeah. Was there an outcry That's... like online where people pissed? Yeah, I mean, like were, inf- what are they pissed about? Like what infinity? I'm sure there's people that aren't happy. No. Well, yeah, just it just sucks, man. Oh, no. just like in their. I mean, what if? Okay, what if with banging Di- their heads? What if with Diablo bow, three bow, you kept having bow. to like every once in a while in order to continue the story or something you had to buy new gear with some real money there and, is and no stuff. Story. No, but I'm saying in order to continue the game you had to like buy upgrades Chase and stuff, is, but then it just stopped. He's Incapable of understanding, understanding hypothetical <laughs> scenarios. Well, he just does it. He's like, no, we, like but no, that's not what's happening. Yeah, right. here's the deal with Diablo. I don't want to know the deal with Diablo. Nobody does. Nobody cares I'm about that I'm trying to game. get my, all my gear ancient, and it's fucking hard. <laughs> like, it is a pain in my ass. Like, I only have one character on this new season, just a barb, and... Uh, He's a barber. I I want to go. I want to go. Hair. I want to go wizard, man. But like, fuck! I just want to get all my shit in ancient, and I've been playing for like a month, fifteen years plus, and I can't get anything, man. I've been crafting. I've been fucking rolling. There's fucking three charts. three new Star Wars. Games. I know, dude. I was just gonna say. I also think that Disney like. Diving into the video game realm, realize that whoa, we got to just outsource this shit. Like they've got a bunch going on with Star Wars. Why waste time with the Infinity thing? Right. Like, yeah, three new fucking Star Wars. Because there was all the you know rumors about new Star Wars. Okay, game. two of which I think are completely unnecessary. Yeah. Which ones? Well, first of all, a new Battlefront next. Battlefront year? two. No, fuck you guys. Are they gonna put a fucking story mode in this one? Actually, no, they're not going to. And uh, well, maybe. But the thing is that they could so easily do DLC with the current one and they said they were going to they said they were going to do all this dlc there might possibly be a story mode but instead they're just going to charge us fucking 60 bucks for a whole new game yeah i like, was it's just stupid i was reading Don't buy it, that I'm not going to that uh they were saying that now you know after the fact they're basically admitting that they had to rush it to get it out right at the, that's know, why there was no story mode. For, the, for the movie and everything which is bullshit it is bullshit, but they could totally DLC it, like right. all these other games have done. They've just here's DLC content, like with Grand Theft Auto. That was still what a few years ago, and they're still pumping out shit. Dude, that game's there's older than a few years. There's still people on it and playing it constantly, and they could easily do that with Battlefront Fucking, instead uh, of making a whole new one. What's his name uh, on Twitch? Uh, <laughs> Summit. Summit's been playing Grand Theft Auto. Oh, tons of people play Grand Theft Auto on Twitch. Like, he'll have, like, 13,000, 14,000 people watching him play Grand Theft fucking Auto. Well, yeah, because the online mode, and they've introduced heists a while ago and shit, like, it's gotten really cool. It's and then fun. all the car, the, the a lot of people online are, like, racing cars and shit on there. Yeah. You but know? the... Uh, the one that I am interested in is the uh, the visceral one. The visceral one. Yeah. 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 That seems like it's going to be the most, uh, I don't know, uh, intricate or. Right. Kind of. Because. Vast. Because that one and then the other one is the EA one from the Titanfall developer. That's the third which person. Which is a, a, a third person action game. Right. Which. But that what are we thinking? Like like a Witcher type game then, or yeah, I mean, but the thing is, it kind of seems like that's the same as the visceral one is making. It, it's they seem like they're kind of going to be the same. I think the visceral game, which is coming out in 2018, is going to be the biggest story, the most involved right. storyline. You think it'll be more of an open world? Because that's what I want. I want Star Wars open world RPG. Yeah, could like, be like that. Would be tight. I'm I'm guessing that's going to be kind of the most official of the games, like the most tie in to right. real, you know, Star Wars. Have you guys Wars seen canon. a trailer for it or anything? No, there's nothing yet. There's nothing. But that's what I Nathan. didn't. That's like like the Force Unleashed games were pretty fucking cool, but they were so third person action, lin- linear storyline. Like it just wasn't. You didn't really get to get enveloped in the world. I think the best Star Wars game today is the fucking Pod Racer game. Of course you would 64, say that. 64, dude. That shit was tight, though, dude. Like, My favorite was always sh- Shadows of the Empire. That's a good sound effect. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
The yeah. Shadows, Shadows of the Empire, Empire Dash Rendar. That was my favorite, man. That one was fucking tight. What, what console was that on? 64. Yeah. 64 had some good games, It man. really did. It was a good machine. And uh, NES had, or SNES had some good Star Wars game. So yeah. I, didn't play, I didn't play any of those. I Even the, I the Star Wars Empire kid. Strikes Back on that's, the NES is yeah. badass. It's yeah. hard, but it's badass. Yeah. Really? I play it every once in a while here. What's it? You have it, don't you? Mm-hmm. No, I just play it in my mind. In my mind's eye. <laughs> or like a ROM on your cell phone. I just plug in. You just plug in your fucking DVR to your brain. I played King's Quest, the newest King's Quest. Yeah, I, uh, yeah you said it sucked. My girl no, has not been, what I said. My girl has started playing that. She said it was okay. It's it's kind of funny, and it looks really cool. It's I love that Christopher Lloyd's voice is in totally. it. Who's Christopher Lloyd? I'm not going to tell you that. Why? Um, the bad guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Really? Back to the Future, Doc Brown. Doc really? Brown. Dr. Emmett Brown. He's also... Wait, was he the villain in Dennis the Menace? I didn't no. know that shit he Yes. Was. Yeah, he was. Yes. Yeah. Holy shit, remember he when he's making hopper. the beans down? I love that, and he cracks it yeah, open with a knife. burns him. And when he's fucking eating the apple with a knife, yeah. I was like, this guy is a badass. Yep. Yeah. and then he burns himself, and then... <laughs> Fuck, man. I I love that movie. What's up with the new Nintendo Holy shit. situation? Yeah, so Nintendo NX is their new console, and we're not too sure about it. There's just a lot of rumors going on. Um, and there's this big rumor that they're bringing back cartridges. Well, they for should. It. Yeah. I mean, I if think- you're going to have a physical game... Uh, Discs are outdated. Well, yeah, and the thing is, too, that they are kind of... Nintendo is now taking this stance where they feel like they are going to benefit from going a more retroactive route. Like, that's where a lot of their fan base lies. That's where a lot of their star, you know, games and stuff are. And they feel like, well, there's a lot of technology. Like, we're not going to be in the race for the best VR system and stuff. And they've always kind of taken this approach. And they don't want to do another Wii console. The Wii U is already like it's doing pretty good for what it is and stuff. It's definitely a niche market, but they yeah. they have they they nailed. But they it. have it's a market. motherfucking Nintendo. Yeah, and they have a market. It's not for everybody, but the people that do like it love it. You know, people and, love Nintendo, especially yeah. Asians. <laughs> oh my god, what sort of Asians? Japanese. Okay. Really good. Okay, so so yeah, it's rumored to be on cartridges. There's a lot of stuff going. It's rumored to not be at all like like the Wii system, and yeah, a little more retro. Well, okay, so look at it this way: in back in in the the mid '90s when CD technology started popping off, mm-hmm. you could fit a lot more data right onto a disc than you could on onto a on cartridge, a, right? But, but now. now it's the other way around. Yeah, you like got this, USB. something this big, like a little flash drive, you can fit 128 gigs. Exactly. It's on really one of these. Thing. It's like really? so. Yeah. So really, the difference between a Blu-ray disc and a cartridge, you're not gonna miss. Like, there's not a big gap. There. And it could be tight. Like you could blow in it again and fucking do the whole push down, push well, up, push down. I think we'd all like to hope that we won't have to do that. <laughs> do that after blowing it. Anymore. I'll tell you what. If Nintendo puts out a cartridge console, I'll. Buy it. You'll buy it? I will. I will absolutely buy it. Well, and it's Mm. interesting, too, because there was also rumors a while ago of Nintendo um, putting in copyrights for straight down, like straight no disc, no cartridge system. I think that's what they're going to do. Well, I mean, that's obviously the the future of yeah is everything just download is no more sucks. physical like anything it. oh well, and it, fucking, it takes forever to I play your put game. this out here for our listeners if anybody out there has had to deal with uh with putting in a new hard drive in your ps4 let me know because i'm trying to do that soon dude I yeah need to, i need to upgrade to a ter- we need your terabyte help. Yeah, we need your help. Oh, uh, there's help. videos online. About well, it. yeah, there is, but I just want to make sure there's also videos online somewhere. of how to get rid of ants. ants. So fucking <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> Dude, I've been trying, man. What were you saying about it taking so long with your game because you're because of downloading it? Yeah, you got to download a fucking thirty-two gigabyte game. It takes all goddamn night. Well, and fuck, I don't even. I've strictly stuck with discs. I've only had my PlayStation since a few months, really. And fucking, I'm already out of room. Yeah, like it's. Ridiculous. Well, yeah, you gotta you gotta un uninstall. Do you some know shit. that if if but you I, got on your machine before you went to work and started downloading the game, you'd be ready to play by the time you got home from work? Yeah, but that's not how I roll. I like I like <laughs> you like to be frustrated. You prefer to be angry and have. Things I like be to difficult. get my things like when I'm there, like I'm hitting download. You know, I want to play it then. You know? But you yeah, can't. so if you did if you did what I suggest, that's exactly what would happen. 
Yeah. Which is what I used to do, or I'd get something downloaded and go to bed, and then the next day, boom. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. hard to sleep though when you know it's like going on. When you know that it's gonna be in eight hours. <sighs> yeah, you're like, every so game that I've downloaded and played in the past like three weeks took a half hour. Yeah, at most but you're you're download. playing like silly point and click games, like like an actual like the if you downloaded The Witcher, it's like. 50 Huge. Gigs. Yeah, well, that's like the Old Republic takes forever. Yeah. Jeez, Even me. just their patches. But that's Macaroni the thing. If you're going to download a giant game like that, then fucking plan ahead just a little bit. Be smart bit. about it. I just wish you could uh, put just it. Download and have it ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> just wish it was automatic. Huh? I mean, one day, sure, that'll happen. Wouldn't life just be so much easier if life was so much easier? Yeah, like, why don't they? <laughs> if they're going to, and especially if they're fucking going to go download only. No cartridges or disc. Just have it on the cloud so, like, you hit buy, boom, you have the fucking game. Just because it's on the cloud you doesn't mean it. you're going to have don't, These it. guys, I'm telling you right now. So, you know, we got pegged for downloading movies at the house, right? right. So... These guys keep hitting me up and telling me to download things. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't do that, man. That's rude. Like they still don't have to get it somehow from me. Like right. I'm like it's magically transported. You but, still are going to have to download it. But it could be on your phone. And then how do you get it from my phone? You just plug it in and we watch it. Is that how you think that works? <laughs> Together. <laughs> Because your so, phone is like a laptop. I'm sitting here at work, and they're like, dude, download this movie for us. I know. I see the messages. What I'm do like, you mean? What the fuck? Just you guys are download at home. yourself. I'm at work. What is me downloading You're a movie You're scared do? of the internet company? Dude, it's my favorite thing to do. And plus, you got one fucking notice. You know how many I've gotten? No, we got more than we one. We got two. I've gotten like 15. They, I just had one this morning. You know what ours... I don't know really? if yours is the same. You know what ours does? Yeah, for downloading Game of Bones, Winter is Coming. Did you really? <laughs> so we get a, 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 a splash screen where we can't access the internet right until we yeah, go through you have this, to go through the motions things. which means you have to click things it's you easy. have to tell it which is bullshit because now i'm to the point where i have to talk to them every time <laughs> you have to talk to them yeah. like what do you say i say hey i got the dmca notice oh, okay we'll fix that up all right thanks what are you gonna do if like Mulder and scully show up and they're like look you're coming with us uh, now so what happens like, like if you get fully popped um then they just disconnect my internet but the thing is, what happened is I've been using a VPN. Everything is going fine. And then Erin needed to t me to take it off because she couldn't access her bank or something because the IP said we were in the Netherlands or whatever. <laughs> and so uh, I took it off, and then I download shit that night without turning Trying to do a on. funds transfer from overseas. Yeah. And yeah. you got popped just from that one. Yeah. Wait, what were you downloading? I just said what I was downloading. Oh, yeah, the fucking porn. Game of Thrones porn. Game of Bones. Is it tight? I haven't watched it yet. I I, well, because Zeb told me about the 10-inch Mutant Ninja Turtles. 10-inch Mutant So then Ninja I went on another parody run. I was like, oh, shit. Game of Bones, Simpsons, Stroke Him On. <laughs> that 10-inch trailer was funny. It was funny. I watched the actual porn. It was so bad. When Casey it Jones so said, bad. first rule of Sewer Fight Club, don't step in the poop. <laughs> was, there, uh, was there good uh, dick and... Dick and Vagina scenes. Dude, your energy is off the charts <laughs> what today. What the Chase. fuck are you talking about? It's a porn. Of course, there's dick and vagina. Anyways, a couple weeks ago, I played the Overwatch beta. Um, Overwatch is out now, and fucking people it's, are loving it. It's badass, dude. People the, are loving it. The thing is, before that, they did the Battleborn beta, and I played that, and fucking sucked. They didn't really like it. Um, and then Overwatch is a lot like it, but just way better. Really, it's Blizzard. The commercials yeah. look cool. Yeah, it's Blizzard. It, people it are loving cool. it. Like my Ryan at work fucking loves it, dude. I mean, if you're into the fucking online play, online battle shit, like the and the also uh, kind of was it kind of tower guard, tower defense type shit. It's, it's kind of totally team lines. based. It's not just a shooter. I mean, it's a shooter, but no, that's you got to have a healer. It's you multiplayer, have a... and yeah, and that's the cool part too. And I just felt like it's not like anybody is at more at advantage or getting left behind. And that's how Battleborn seemed to me, like uh, in the Destiny sense of oh, once you get good at this particular thing or you level up this way, then you just blow away everybody else. You bored over there, Chase? No, I'm going to pull up Twitch and see uh, <laughs> Overwatch is number two right now. Yeah, it's fucking badass. I actually really 22, want to get it. 22,000 people watching the top streamer on Overwatch right now. Nice. 
You and should then, get on uh, that. League of Legends, twenty six thousand. Oh my god! So it's right, it's right there, dude. I mean, it's almost taken over. And obviously, Counter Strike's always someone's playing Counter Strike right now. But uh, <laughs> in the world, <laughs> this is really intriguing. Uh, <laughs> Fallout Four just released the DLC, um, their new Fall Harbor. It's or Far Harbor, and it's this huge island. It's supposed to be like the biggest chunk of land Dude, in Chase, DLC. Chase, you have that game. It's like zombies. You right? were like so stoked to get that game. Oh, you have Fallout and you you haven't even beat Fallout, have you? No. So you have Fallout and Witcher, both of which have a massive expansion. So yeah, I have them all, dude. I have Bloodborne, Witcher. Bro, now's the time. I got NHL. I got fucking. Uh, I Madden. have them all. <laughs> you just started naming. Bro, yeah, I have a lot of games. Remember, like, it's it's Hubby June's uh, our first anniversary with Hubby June's. Oh, you're right. You know what? You're I'll right. See. I mean, a year ago I was up. I was up playing PS. I mean, that's why we got that. And, TV and in so fact, they- on this podcast, you said, I finally found out what I want to do. I'm a gamer. I want to play games. I want to be into that. And you did it for a l- I couple did weeks. It. Yeah. I, just like everything I do, I did it for a little bit, man. <laughs> you got to, you know, just stick with it, man. Because it's hard. badass right now. Fuck, did you guys see the Battlefield 1 trailer? No. no. Holy shit, dude. But I'm Good not stuff. like a first person shooter. No, it doesn't matter, man. This is going to be the best first person shooter fucking in history. In and my, I'm not I, good at controllers, it man. It fucking looks hard. so yeah. good, dude. I'm a point and clicker, man. I'm a fucking I bought a PC I bought a, a, a control pad for my so I could play Turtles cuz it's like we strongly recommend. Right, getting a, a, pad. getting a So I got controller. one and it's really hard. Really, it seems like it'd be easier with a mouse and just yeah. WSJD or whatever. I don't think See, it's yeah, that it's hard. probably just because you're used to that fucking method, like WASD. Because I'm so used Wasp. to the controller. Wasp. When I get so used to the controller on the console, and I try to go with the WSJD, it's so difficult to get used to. But dude, <laughs> you all right, Chase? Yeah, sorry. Give me a little nap. <laughs> After the caster song, we hey, gotta I'll watch see. the Battlefield trailer. Okay, it's we'll the fucking watch that. most exciting. I excited I've been for a game in a while. You got any more game stuff? Um, I have like all of them. Like I have Star Wars, <laughs> Fallout. I have a ton of games. I probably you have, spend a lot of money. On I it. probably yeah. have like thirteen to fifteen games total because I have a bunch of downloaded games too. I even have Diablo. I have Diablo three. Let's switch gears a little bit here, huh? Um, yeah, let's do it. What'd you guys think of that first episode of Preacher? Dude, uh, I thought it was awesome. So I'm I have been interested in what people think because having read the comics and then watching it, I was like, I wanted to like it, but it was so different that I'm still holding out. I'm like, okay, the, I, I see what they're doing and why they had to do that for TV. I'm interested to see where they bring the story. preachers on Sunday nights on AMC. Check your <laughs> local listings because there were there like they kept the key elements, they kept the key characters. You know, things were just a bit different. Um, so I get it and I enjoyed it, and I, I want to see where they go from here. Yeah, I'm 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 definitely interested to see where it goes because it was I definitely mixed feelings about that first episode. Yeah. Because it's kind of like, what's going on? You know, like, what is happening? What is this show actually about? Right. And see, and that's the thing. Knowing what happens and what's supposed to happen, I'm more like, how are they going to pull it off? Yeah. Especially with the weird differences they've done so far. I'm like, well, how are they going to they, really go forward? They got me at the bar fight. Yeah, I was, was uncertain cool. until that scene. And then I was like, okay, that was pretty this cool. is going to be tight. In the airplane? No, the bar. The bar. They were at the bar in the airplane. No, the, but not the airplane. The bar. There was a bar in the airplane, but that's not what I'm talking about. Just the regular there was bar. The bar, and the dude comes in, and the oh yeah, war. yeah, and the preacher sitting. And there. then Cassidy is funny. Yeah, he's that's awesome. fun. And he's he's probably. I think it's a cool show. He seems like a the cool only show. character I think that is a hundred percent from the comic, like the way he acts and our face. Our face is pretty on point. He looks, he looks like good. a butthole. He does not look like the comic, though. He looks so much grosser. You know what bugged me about Ars face? Huh. Is that you could see his teeth. Right. And you're not supposed there to. There shouldn't be any teeth. You're not supposed really? to. You're, if your mouth is <laughs> blown I off. I didn't notice any teeth. I but. saw teeth. At least once I saw teeth. Hmm. Do you think they just messed up like, and didn't cover up his real teeth? <laughs> well, who knows? Sure. You know, he like that. But Ars face was cool. I'm our face. Um, you know the the girl Tulip. They they brought her on very differently. I liked I liked her though. She was a cool character. She was cool, but in the in the is comics, she the one that like uh, tri- helping the little kids and stuff. 
Right. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was helping those little kids. <laughs> the little kids. I but that. she. But the thing is, in this in this thing, they they show that oh, she's like this assassin and does all this stuff. But in the comic, when he stumbles across her, she's in the middle of like her first job and she can't really handle it and stuff. Like it's just a lot of different character development where it feels like with the with the show there suddenly these characters are already developed in this particular way when in the comic it, you get to actually see that okay. happen that makes sense and the whole thing with the congregation was way different and the in genesis the spirit thing coming down and and affecting other people it was just weird uh, having read Sorry. it's like i i just don't <laughs> that's soup i'm excited to see where they'll go Jeez. but i also feel like this is the strange, almost in a Game of Thrones way, where all of a sudden there's all these fantasy movies or fantasy shows and stuff. Now I feel like Preacher is opening the gates to where all of a sudden there's going to be all these like supernatural, you know, edgy priest shows. Yeah, yeah. Because now you think we there's have... going to be a lot of more preach shows, a lot of a lot of God fearing Christian shows. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> I don't know about. what you need to do to like jumpstart yourself, but <laughs> but there's, a Red Bull. Yeah, yeah, fuck. I am fucking droggy, man. Just like droggy, uh, <laughs> dude. I I mean, I I went droggy's home. man's best friend. I uh, droggy. I, I had a night last night, right? I partaked a little bit, and uh, we were going somewhere in the conversation. And I'm tired, you know, and I. Ate, <laughs> I ate some serious soup. I didn't think we would be today, you know, because I, I figured your dick hole was all fucking punctured up. I was like, punctured there's no up. way he's being, dude. His dick is all fucked up. <laughs> and he's on fucking morphine. You know, speaking of Draghi, uh, check it out. <clears throat> Dr. Steve Brule comes back on uh, June 17th. Yes. Holy shit. Check but, it out. Hey, so, I can't wait for that. Is that season so, four? I, th- I think so. Do, do, it's do, been do, on do, for a do, while. Do, do, do. But so where I was going with the whole preacher thing and the onslaught of these shows about this like supernatural and edgy priest stuff is uh, that Outcast is coming. Yes, Robert Kirkman, like yeah. the band Outcast. What? <laughs> well, or like the common spelling of the word Outcast, the Big Boy, which has been a lot longer than Big Boy. Well, yeah, so Robert Kirkman, the creator of Walking Dead, he had this other comic called Outcast that's about this dude with uh, a with abilities, exorcist abilities, basically. Is, okay. it, is that shit going to come on AMC? No. no. What is it on? It's on Cinemax. Cinemax. Whoa. Um, Titties. Cinemax. A fucking great comic book, great storyline and stuff, um, and really interesting. And the fact that they're making a show is awesome. Of course, they're going to with Robert Kirkman, but it's like we got Preacher now. And now we're going to have Outcast. They're very much so in the same realm of things. Yeah. Mm. Who do you so, think will do it better, Cinemax or AMC? I don't know. I don't I, think it's up to this, the network in particular. I mean, it, it, it could be argued. I mean, Cinemax. I know. Can, you're always all about the networks. What Cin- channel is it on? Cinemax can literally do whatever they want. And AMC can get away with a lot, but there are restraints. So, but I don't think it is. What do you think will the, be darker and better? Do I you think maybe having a little restraint restraint will make the writing a little bit better, or do you think having a free for all will make it? You know, just you know what, Chase? It's on Cinemax. I don't know. <laughs> well, there we it go. It remains to be seen, and it and, also doesn't mean that just because it's on this network, Cinemax, that they're going to be like, "Well, fuck, we're throwing tons of titties in Outcast." Yeah. Well, they will. It's already written a particular way. They definitely will. Yeah, they may. They may. They're, they're, they're going to have like Outcast is very dark. It's very. What do you guys think about violent. that Dangus in the last Game of Thrones episode? Eh, that was a little too Ooh. much for me. Ooh, that was a full on fucking uncircumcised. Yeah, they pointed it right at us. Like, imagine if that shit was in 3D. Yeah, that's what I'm Or VR, yeah. dude. That dick would have been on your it forehead. It was super unnecessary. So, I don't, so, but that's I'm not the, into it. That's the thing is that there's so many complaints because they're always showing women in a sexual way with titties and stuff. But then it's like, what about the dick? They throw it. How there's come, dick. But there's not. But it's you can't have an erect penis. So that's the thing. Every time they throw dick in, it's an unsexualized way. I don't know. I... I I jerked off later to, about it. To, uh, to the little yeah. fake. I mean, all, the only thing I can think about when I saw that, I was like, man, I wish I had a cotton swab. I would fucking clean the shit out of that dick. <laughs> wow. But that Thrones, <laughs> this last Thrones Ooh. episode. <laughs> That's how you clean a fucking uncircumcised her. I, I think. can't wait to watch Thrones tonight. You get like some this, o- That some last like, episode. Uh, rubbing oil. 
Hold the door. Hold the door. Holy shit. No spoilers. Hold the door. Well, oh, a spoiler, I guess. Hold the door. Thanks for the spoiler. Um, so Nobody knows what that means. You just <laughs> said <laughs> it. Hold on. I mean, it's not like right. anybody could avoid that shit. No, so totally. it's out there. And if but... you haven't seen it yet, then well, you're probably hey, not in the it. in the description of this episode, we'll say, "Hodo." Uh, spoiler. <laughs> you should have seen how he spelled that. When oh, he, oh sure. you probably did. He, I think Hodo. Probably... <laughs> All right, hold the door. That was the, that was the first time after watching an episode that, like, number one, I was super emotional. But I actually you, were went you crying? and listened. No, I didn't cry, but I, I went in the next day and listened to a bunch of Thrones podcasts and stuff just about wanted theories. wanted to hear what people were saying just, about it. Yeah, and people's thoughts on that. What did, they, fuck, what did it, they say? Well, it just opens up. What I thought was interesting is that the even the term hold the door in that episode was like a metaphor for how the story has been so far. There's been so much mystery. There's been so much disconnection between these characters. And then all of a sudden in that episode, we got all these origins of these different he things. He found out where the White Walkers were formed. He found out where the White Walkers were formed. The goddamn woodland fairies. The children of the forest. Yeah. Um, and also the the spot, the the faceless men figured out that origin. Like just a lot of this stuff. And so the hold the door was like saying that now it's open. Like now we're going to have this flood of these characters actually coming together and us connecting this story. Because the White Walkers, that shit is on now. And the people They're are there, have man. to They're connect. Here. And it's just fucking crazy. We got to get crazy. more of those uh, woodland fairy bombs. Fucking bombs. I'm not a walkers. I'm not a really big fan of the idea of them messing with the space-time continuum and that sort of thing. It is a bit dicey because that just opens up so I always much. I always loved Thrones because of in the realm of fantasy how real it was. You know. Fantasy, I don't think like Sorry, there's all these theories. <laughs> that was there's, a fucking pulpy drink. <laughs> there's all these theories mm. that uh, Milk of the poppy. that Bran is Bran the Builder and that, oh, maybe he's the Lord of the Light as well and he's responsible for all of this. I don't think they're going that direction. I think that he has major responsibility and he's going to be key in the fight against the White Walkers. But I don't think that the creators are going to go as far as to make him – that big of a piece as far as being so you, you, know, you think maybe that what happened last episode is as extreme as they'll go is like extreme in, in the sense that that taught Bran a huge lesson about with great power comes great responsibility and now he knows that he just he, like he fucked up that guy's life basically yeah. like by warging into him while he died like being in that past situation while that happened caused this fucked thing for him so what ha what is gonna happen to homie in the tree he's dead what are you talking about the old guy's dead yeah it's so, over for him really that's why he said you it's Lord time Santeca. for you to become me yeah so the white walkers came in there and killed the dude in the tree did you watch the episode <laughs> Yeah, but I don't remember seeing what happened to the dude in the tree. Yeah, he said, you have to go. It's time for you to become me. And then they came in and they killed him. And there was a lot of fire. And they killed Summer. A, um, Sunshine. Oh, yeah. And Hodo, uh, hold the, he hold the door. <laughs> That's right. What tense was that in? Hodo. Oh, no, he held the door. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's right. Because remember, fucking, they were trying to break down the door, and he was just screaming, "Hold the door!" <laughs> you know, <laughs> hold the door. Where does, are does you this, right now? Does this season feel <laughs> as different to you as it does to me than the other seasons? Oh yeah. Oh, you can tell. Major People are difference. really like happy. Into it. They're going, "Man, this season's great. Everything, all the stuff is happening." And I'm, I feel like the opposite. I'm like. I don't know. It's too much. Well, no, I love it. It's like overboard to Because me. you know that it's like now that they're ahead of the books and they know that they only have another season or two, they're just like, all right, we got to wrap it up. We got to yeah, sum it up. Great. They're digging what they can out of Martin in order to make it happen. So, and, it, and it's all from him. Well, it is sort of. Him. Here's, what, here's what I was reading this week. Uh, you got great legs, by the way. Thank you. Uh, there was three major things that George Martin told mm -hmm. the producers at HBO. These are the three main things that happened. All right. Um, and it what was, are they? It was Jon Snow. Dies and comes back? Yes. Let's try not to, to <laughs> be full spoiler. <laughs> just, we don't know who's caught up and who's People not. Know. Then there was the, I know, but still, the thing about know. Bran. Right. 
that was revealed that was a big, the second major thing. And then the third major thing is yeah. what happens at the end. Right. And basically, he told them these are the three things that have to happen, and then they're – could, they can do whatever else they want. And what do you think the uh, what the end entails? I don't know. What is your well, guess? Um, I I'm, I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with Jon Snow being a Targaryen. Uh, he's going to be a ruler, right? Like he's going to. Yeah, I don't know. I I'd like to see because he's already. Well, died. here's the thing. Because I like what I would like to see happen is for Jon and Daenerys to join, and because they might be half rule. brothers. But sister. if they're related, then. That's that complicates that situation. Oh, because then they kind of oof. Well, they could. Obviously, it's not something that doesn't happen. In but drums. then they can sure. give birth to. A, but then like, they would have a bunch of downy right. kids. But if they're half brother and sister, or whatever, they could have then, like fucking mutant child, child yeah. children. So anyway, the George Martin says he's still writing the book. The book's still going to come out, and it's going to be different than what we're seeing in the show. Right, and I'm sure that he's excited because this whole time people have been comparing the book to the show. And I think and George Martin have a chance to be. And I think he's a better opposite. storyteller than the people at HBO are. Oh, absolutely. So and they're doing it for the things right in now. the show that happen because they happen in the book were all great to me. Very right. few things Outside that were that. different than the book did I actually. But you're enjoy. a purist, yeah. You're a purist. <laughs> I think what's going to happen, I would love to see this happen. I know it's not, but the fucking people just can't get together. They try their hardest. White Walkers come wipe everybody out. And Everybody's when? dead. That's the end. Really? All men must die. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh. I actually think Littlefinger's going to end up on the throne in the end. Whew, wouldn't that be something? Really? He just goes, look at that little dick and pulls down his fucking pants and says, fuck you, and then gets the throne. Sure. <laughs> that's yeah. how you want yeah, to let's say that's how it happens. It's almost like uh, dudes that drive big-ass jacked-up trucks because they have little dicks. Did you Are you? Did you finish uh, Fear? No, I need to catch up on that one. Yeah, I only I, watched uh, like one episode. It took a weird, it took a weird turn mid-season. With the boat? Or sure or something? Not with the, the boat. The boat was like the second episode. There was just, it, it got, it, it was kind of cool, and then it got, a little far fetched and silly, hmm. and then it kind of got back on track again, and then it kind of well, went fully off e the rails. Give me an example. No, I actually uh, why I didn't watch that was I was busy getting caught up on eleven twenty two sixty three slash. Uh, I'm, I'm finished on that one. Now. Out a fucking urethra because I watched the first episode and I dug it and I finally went back and finished the series okay. and it, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Anybody that's kind of into that shit, <laughs> into the time travel and, you know, that era of things. What do you guys think 60s? about the new Doctor? Doctor Who? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> There's a new Doctor in town. Oh, yeah? You a big fan? What do you know about it? Nothing. He's a British <laughs> dude. Thanks for bringing it up. I'm pretty sure they've all been British dudes. Yeah. I don't get that show. I don't. I've never really. I've watched like I one dig episode. It. You like it? Yeah. People that love it or like it really love it. Like, like love it. The, like Zone I, like has a, a. He carries around a vape that says Doctor Who on it. It know? doesn't say Doctor Who. It's the TARDIS. It's the TARDIS. What is that? <laughs> it's, it's the, the phone, phone booth. booth that they travel in. Mm. Which it is, seemed the show seems really silly to me. But and that's the thing. If you look at like a silly thing, because that's what I'll do. I'll I'll just throw it on for the hell of it. Is I it like every it every uh, episode's different, right? Yeah, every episode is a different situation in which the doctor has to figure out. And, so, and, yeah, and it's like it, for what it is, it, it's pretty funny. Like, like is he a doctor in the sense of like being a medical? Like he's in the medical field? No, he's a time doctor. Okay. <laughs> So he's a healer of time. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go into this. <laughs> but uh, let's see. TV-wise, fucking we're getting close to some really cool shit coming robot, up. Robot, robot, So not only robot, Outcast robot, is coming out in just a few days. Outcast comes out this week. So that's what we were just talking about. Yeah, that's June ago. 3rd. Cinemax. So what's that, like Thursday? Yeah, and then uh, Friday. Uh, Mr. Robot. Robot. Season two, July 13th. Holy oh. moly. That's yeah. what I'm really excited yeah, for. Yeah, it's going to be the so best good. show in a long time. Humans, they're shooting Humans season 2. Dude, wow. I I so I haven't watched that yet, but I keep getting told that I'd like it. I loved it. I want to watch it. First season's that's only the 8 one episodes. That's about the androids and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like Ex so Machina, right? I mean, it's on a similar that's sort of wheelhouse. situation. I kind of want to watch Ex Machina again. It's a good movie. Yeah, it was great. Like that movie Oscar fucking, Isaac. He's Oscar so weird. Isaac and um Donald Gleason. Yep. That's the one with the really hot robot girls, right? Yeah. The really hot robot girls. 
<laughs> yeah, that's be. what that one's about. <laughs> the really odd robot girls. And, now, and like, then what is this that's coming out in June 17th? Let's check it out. What? Is, oh, Dr. Steve, Steve Brule. Brule. Sorry. Oh. God, and there's a new show on HBO that's called The Night Of. Have you seen the previews for that? No. That looks pretty cool. Ooh, Ballers 2 is coming so, yeah, out, too. Pretty it's some, like, murder mystery. You guys don't like any of that stuff, but those shows are good. Um. Oh, you know what I did finish? Huh. We, maybe we talked about this last time. I don't know. The Night Manager. That finished oh, this yeah. Week. Yeah. Good stuff. We should, let's tie that in real quick, because Tom huh. Hiddleston, right. a.k.a. Hiddleston, I don't know how to say his that's, last name. That's uh, Loki. Loki. He is rumored to be in the running to play the ne- be the next 007. Right. Really? Loki? Yeah. Interesting. With that slick black hair, I could see that. Well, mm. he doesn't really have slick black hair. It was just, that was for the Avengers. For the character. Huh. He's got brown hair. I mean, I yeah. could see that. I'd like to see a different Bond. I'd like to see, I wish they would have chosen Idris Elba when they had the chance. Oh, yeah. Uh, when he was up. Is that, I, I, dude, I wouldn't mind seeing a girl Bond. I wouldn't either. You that know what I mean? That would be pretty tight. Some hot what's chick. This, what's like this? a Jamaican girl? Let's do that. <laughs> Why would it be a Jamaican girl? I don't know, girl? that'd be tight, though. Yeah, <laughs> it like, would be let's, cool. Let's keep this shit equal. You know what they did pick, Idris Elba? Full, so you're okay with a girl Bond, but not a girl no, I mean if we're busters? if we're going girl busters, we might as well go girl Bond, and we might as well go girl. I mean, might as well make Iron Man girl and Captain America on the next one too. What is well, Thor's a girl now? Yeah, but fuck oh, it. Wolverine, Let's just make everybody uh, a girl. Wolverine's every a girl. character that should be a boy should be a girl. That's how I feel. Whoa, <laughs> everyone, every single one. Guys don't matter. Guys is a piece of shit. Guys um, is a piece of shit. Well, who did Elba get chosen for? The gunslinger, yes, in the draw in the dark tower. Dark tower, yeah, I'm excited for Some that. Some people are really mad about that. Well, they can fucking suck, and not not because it's a girl, or not like because they're racist, uh, but because they think it changes the story. Because apparently, it's I could see that there's a key element about the gunslinger's race in the story because he's a racist in the story. No, <laughs> there's a there's a lot of things that happen like that. Like, but I don't know. You know, like is there? Well, they'll like cast like like what? I mean, there's like, like who? There's like roles that you know, or like ethnic or whatever, and then they'll cast just a white, pretty white. Yeah, they girl. do that all the yeah, time. Like we were talking about with the whole uh, white washing, white washing Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Like all the e- Egyptian pharaohs are all white guys. Dude, your yeah. monitors. All hey, so welcome smart. to Egypt. <laughs> welcome to Egypt. We'll make you a burger and fries. You want some peanut brittle? That is like one thing that Egypt really fucking interests me. I hear there's like some. <laughs> Really good documentaries out there that I should probably... You should talk to my dad. He had a great time in Egypt when he was in the Navy. He probably hated it. Dude, I, I used really? to be obsessed with Egypt, man. It's crazy, man. Those pyramids are fucking crazy, it's dude. It's pretty like, intense. How the fuck did they build those things, Well, dude? there's like, a lot of different theories. Yeah. That's true. Let's see. What else what do we you got? Think, in- do you think they used the, the fucking... The, the, the ox and the fucking... The wheel uh, system? Do you think the pulley wheel system? And oh, like how it was built? How they yeah. built the pyramids? Yeah. Uh, I mean... Or do you just think there were so many of them and they just... Well, look, okay, so, that, so maybe it, was, it could have been aliens... That's definitely a possibility. Yeah. I think people were just a lot smarter back then than yeah. we give them credit for. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. They I don't believe in history shit. sometimes. Like, No, oh, history is so stupid. I mean, there's like kind of really good evidence that people were a lot smarter in ancient times. Yeah. I mean, a lot shit smarter. balls. They knew the constellations. They knew but that's also people. really strong evidence for aliens. Totally. And, uh, yeah, yeah I don't. I be. don't believe the alien thing though. It sucks. Well, I want to. I want to. Well, believe. you don't want to. Like, have you ever? No, seen, I do. I do. I trust. Seen me, their do. depictions of Xerxes and shit. Like that's a fucking alien. Yeah, there's totally. some crazy shit. Like, yeah, there's some weird shit going on. And and, and then there and there's some just depictions of like uh, <laughs> of like people in spacesuits that are like straight fucking human and shit. Like white boys. Some people think that know? Jesus was an ancient astronaut. I believe it. Yeah, absolutely. But the ancient answer not shows bullshit. That's that true. Do you know who Andy Circus is? Yes, Chase? Andy Circus. Um. Oh yeah, this fucking pisses. This me is off. weird, right? No, okay, I so do not. I do Andy Circus is the guy that uh, did the. the he, he's Gollum. He's Smeagol. He's Smeagol. Uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. He's mostly voices. And uh, what are they? Motion capture. But he was in Star Wars, he, right? Yeah, he was Snoke. He uh he's he's Caesar in uh Planet one? of the Apes. 
Okay. Any any major movie that has a motion capture character, yeah, it's a good chance Andy Serkis is the one who did it. Like the voice. Well, no, and the motion capture, which isn't has nothing to do with the voice. So he's like he's really good at playing like apes and, yeah, he's, and like people. He's excellent low, at that. So he what does is, he do? Just get in a suit and jump around? Kind of. Like, yeah. yeah. So he's pretty athletic. So guy, he is right? directing the Jungle Book. Okay. Another Jungle Book movie, completely unrelated to the Jungle Book that, that just came just out happened. a couple so months ago. So they're battling of the books. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, and supposedly his version is supposed to be darker dark. and more uh, accurate to the to the book. To the book. Which will be interesting, but it's also like we it's haven't had really a good. we haven't had a Jungle Book in forever. And now all of a sudden, get, boom! Two Jungle two books. Two Jungle Books. It's like, and when, this one was awesome. It's it like when great. Deep Impact and Armageddon, Armageddon came out. Yeah, this yeah. one's pro- the, probably the one that just came out is probably a little more lighthearted. Yeah, I'd imagine because like, that's exactly because like Bill Murray's in it. And like, a but bunch listen of, to who's in this one. It's uh, yeah, I mean this is Christian not Bale, wow. Benedict Cumberbatch, and Kate Blanchett are all in it. Wow! It's so it is. It's going to be an actors, actors fucking book. And it's probably going to be. Boring. Like Bale, I don't know. Like I mean, Bale's probably going to be in character the whole time. Like uh, I don't. I don't have faith in it, man. It's like I bet it's going to be dope. It's so they just did this one that was great. Right. If anything, fucking continue that story or something. But to make a whole nother one just seems pointless. To I me. bet you'd be super surprised. I bet. No, oh, I mean, it, it might I, be I, good, I, I'm going to assume. Is it going to be animated? I'm going to assume that Andy Serkis has had this in the works for a long time. Is it going to be mm. animated? Before he knew anything about Favreau and them doing that version. Right, right. And he's like, well, fuck you. I'm doing mine too, anyways. Right. Do you think it's animated? Do I think it's animated? Yeah. Like, do I think it's a cartoon? Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure it's not a cartoon. So it's going to be like real people playing the Jungle Book. I'm. Pretty certain that there's huh. going to be real people in it. Cool, like, um, because nope. the the new the, the latest Jungle Book wasn't that. It was all CGI, right? Like all cartoons, no, it was live action. So there was real people in that one too. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> you know, a, a lot of times these days, Chase, they do both together. Well, mm. I just thought I just thought it was like an actual like almost like a Pixar. No, this I new think. one's going to be darker. This, this last one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it was live action. It was like they had a lot of real animals. There was a lot of huh. motion capture characters. Yeah. But. Man, I want to see that. It was really good. I'm telling you, it was great. That's no, why I know. It, I'm a fan of the Jungle Book. It's one of my favorite I'm stories. upset that I didn't get to see it in 3D. That's the and thing. And that's I why I feel like this one is so unnecessary. Did you see it in 3D, Abba? No, I didn't. But no. it was still great. Fuck, man. Dude, you know what's out right now and we none of us have seen it yet? X-Men. X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men. I know. Who I know. wants to go see that, though? Like, I do. A lot of people. Like, yeah. Dude, but we just saw Captain America. Like, give totally, it a, totally different movie. Give it a goddamn Completely break. different characters. Give it a break, man. I don't even think there's any crossover <laughs> characters. No, anymore. there's not. Um, and this one is, it's, well, X-Men is always movie-wise, like, I enjoy them, but they're not necessarily the ones that I run out to see right yeah. away. Do you think this one's fucking tight, though? Is Jackman in it? Uh, he's supposed to make a quick appearance, I think right? he's in it briefly. Really? Yeah, like, so he... Wolverine's not even in it? Really? You say that like you're disappointed. Yeah, I am. Well, the thing is that so many people so don't are... want Wolverine in it. Really? Because Wolverine... That's the only reason why I watch X-Men. Wol- but see, Wolverine has become this kind of shitty face for the x-men where it's like people like you are like and there's a lot wolverine of wolverine is the x-men yeah that's the thing there's a ton of x-men wolverine wasn't even part of the original x-men right. really and it, because of his popularity though he the studios want to just push him right? he got pushed to yeah because he got an origin story he got all and there's a there, the wolverine 3 is coming out too they're doing mm-hmm. that too but this one does look good it's just I think of the recent X Men, like Days of Future Past was so good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I love that. I like that movie, and I like when uh, um, Wolverine makes a, a cameo and he says the F word. You like that? Yeah, in the bar. Yeah, with the Germans. <laughs> I forget what he says, but he says something like "fuck you." Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much like it. That. Yeah, or "fuck off." Fuck off. It was. Like but we'll that. see it. I think I might end up seeing it next weekend or something. I think the X Men should probably go this movies weekend. Have been pretty good movies. Mm-hmm. You guys want I to don't see it feel after like this? they're really good representations of the comic. No, where they aren't. the Avengers movies are like 
fantastic. Like they capture the characters. Yeah, and I don't think the X-Men movies really no, do that No, I think well. X-Men are still kind of confused. Like, they picked that cast, and then they just stuck with it. And, yeah, it's a... They're like Zeb's sexuality. Do you they're, think... They're not as relatable. <laughs> do you think really? that if, if Fox Boom! was to give X-Men back to Marvel Studios, that Marvel would... They'd gut knock it, it out of the park. They'd gut it. They'd change it. And I think. I right, do you think they, they'd they'd the kill it though, right? They'd... I would love to see. Uh, um, what's that? Uh, what's the the guy who does Marvel? Um, Stanley. Stan I would love to see Stanley fucking take on X Men. You know what I mean? Stanley invented the X Men. Oh shit! <laughs> Stanley and Jack Kirby. Um, so why isn't he doing the X Men? Because he sold the rights, and so to they're Fox. To Fox. God damn it! I and bet so he's kicking himself. I the wish butt with that, that Fox one. would pull a Sony and go, "Hey, yeah, you're bro. right. Let's work together. Right. Let's, you know, because we clearly can't Marvel do this Studios. right. You know, Fox. I don't. know. They nailed Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, but that was Ryan Reynolds' thing, dude. He he worked on that. Yeah, shit that movie for like almost Deadpool didn't get Fox. Yeah, yeah, he worked on so. that shit for like thirteen, oh. fourteen years. Like it got shelved for. Yeah, really that long movie time. almost didn't come out. Yeah. Fox really didn't want to put that movie. The out. only reason it shelved. came out was because somebody leaked test footage purposely. And then the internet yeah, went yeah. because they were like, they knew "Fuck you, this is happening." Shelved. There was one of three, so it was it was Ryan Reynolds or two other people. So it's not like a big mystery on who leaked it, you know. But it's not. <laughs> I just listened to an interview with him. So I know a bunch of shit about Deadpool right now. Yeah, you're really dropping the knowledge, dude. We got some uh, episode eight leaks and rumors this past yeah. couple weeks about Thrones, <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> episode eight. We yeah. got a, le- a leaked title. Yeah, what is the title? Fall of the Resistance, oh. which I don't believe is going to be real. That's not going to be it. Yeah, I don't anybody could so. make that up. That's you? a. Well, they didn't make it up. Somebody has footage of of something with that title on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's an okie doke. I, I don't think it's real. There's an act like somebody found a logo that actually is the design Star Wars logo with that title on it. But I don't think – I think it's an okie doke. I don't think it's going to be real. There was a, a bunch of leaked uh, pages from a book. Right. The episode eight like book right. about – the Script. ships and the no, the descriptions of ships and characters and names Dang. and stuff like that, which you can just get on Google and look those up. And you who's going to be in it? Do you think in episode eight? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Darth will be in it? Darth. <laughs> Boba. Well, Darth and Boba. Me. Darth is going to be in uh, Rogue One. You think? Actually, you know, Rogue One was the one that leaked the book. It right, because Rogue One is back in time. A the bit. book, this is yeah, the pages of the Darth book. Vader doesn't. He's not alive for Episode Eight. Yeah, Darth Vader's long dead, but he's Darth Vader die. is going to be in Rogue One. Fuck yeah, dude! I think Rogue One's going to be great. Guess who's doing his voice? Original fuck Sandlot the guy. <laughs> you want me to guess? Sandlot, yeah. yeah, guess. Uh, Samuel L. James Jackson. Todd Smith. <laughs> You're close. William Walker Hearst. Ooh, William Walker Hearst. Yeah. 14th president of these United States of America. Yep. President Hearst. <laughs> Mr. Hearst. Um, He's coming back from the dead. Hey there. I am kiddos. excited for these movies, but I do not want to delve into the whole leak shit. Right. Like, that also pissed me off about episode seven. But you, so could, uh, you could silence your phone to not, you know, get alerts and shit about Star Wars. I- you what, is there an app that, you think that silences I'm just getting, Star Wars and alerts? You think I'm just getting alerts like, oh, new rumor, new leak? Yeah, or just don't type in Star Wars to Google. That's one way. <laughs> well, when I just see stuff posted, I try not to. Read and it's just it, yeah, basically. just don't read it. It like, sounds like Tom Hardy has a small cameo in Episode Eight. That's uh, that's a uh, yeah, but he's gonna be like Tom Hardy's uh, fucking uh, reverent. The original rumor was that he was going to right? be Boba Fett. Wow. But that I think that got squashed pretty easily. He's in the Reverend that's... and uh <laughs> and so it looks like he's going to be a stormtrooper like Daniel Craig Mad basically. Max. Yeah. Well, he's in Mad surprised. Max too. Yeah, good job. Tom Hardy. Good job, Chase. <laughs> God, you know your movies. You're really on top of it. Dude, bro. I watched uh, You're like a walking IMDb database. <laughs> I watched the Reverend IMDb the other yesterday, I think. Uh, I the, it's called The Revenant. Whatever. Do you um, know what that means? There's only one R. 
Reverent. Do you know what revenant means? Revenant. Uh, probably like sad, sultry, uh, repentive. Yeah, sad, <laughs> sultry, and repentive. <laughs> no, it's uh, something that comes back from the dead for revenge. Okay. John Boyega may may be joining the Black Panther cast. Yeah, why not? That would I mean, be awesome. That, yeah, that would be cool. I watched the bear scene and then skipped through most of the movie, watched the middle, and watched the end fight. And... Pretty much got the whole just in the movie. Well, okay. That, see, here's the thing. Uh, my new style when you watch movies. a movie yeah. or a show, there's two different schools of thought. Yours is mm-hmm. you want to get to the end of the movie so you know what happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Right. A lot of people watch movies to, ex- to, to, to see what's going on, the experiences, right, what what's it. happening. Hmm. Not just like <laughs> f- how it ended. That's not like the goal of, for most people. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, you know, potato, potato. So, like each, everybody watches a movie for their own. Uh, like, like telling somebody what happened in a in a show versus watching, watching the it, show to right. see what happened. Yeah, it's almost easier to just be told. You know, like, right? But that it just depends what you enjoy more. You just enjoy. I just like knowing things. Right. Just like finding because out then what you happened. think you know things. Yeah, I like feeling. Wait. I like feeling smart. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, you know, like, fucking Leo. Holy shit, man. <laughs> he should have died multiple times in that movie. Okay. He's like a cat. We um, have talked about You know the guy that, uh, the, the character that he played in that movie? He was a real good dude. He's dead. He actually died. Before he got revenge? No, I mean, like, it's just he died. Recently? He's not alive anymore. Oh, yeah. Because it was like the 1800s. <laughs> So he's he's been dead for a long time. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I mean, science tells you that. Well, you were just said you thought he should have died. Well, he did. He did die. So it happened. Yeah. But he should have died before he fucking got to the Hardy, dude. Why? <sighs> Fuck, man. He got mauled by a bear. Yeah, but he survived. Yeah. People but, have survived bear attacks. But that was no joke. And, like, out in the cold, he was sleeping in a fucking... Like an elk carcass, dude, in the it snow. It was his horse. He just fucking... <laughs> See, I want to know that because I just saw the scene. I didn't know what it was. You didn't know what it was. I Could just... have been anything. Could have been a tauntaun. It was his own horse. I pegged it as an elk. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, dude, uh, so this is fucking ridiculous. Did he kill his horse? To... No, yes. he fell off of a cliff. See what happens when you skip That's ahead and look you smart? Don't... <laughs> you don't actually you don't know. <laughs> At least I know he slept in him. He slept, he slept in an elk. He, said. he slept in an elk. So this is ridiculous news. This whole Tetris news. Tetris. Tetris. Whoa. Dude, okay. Do you... Oh, there's a Tetris movie coming okay, out. No, but not see, just a movie. It's a trilogy. Who gives a shit? But here's the thing. It's not... People like just assume that it's going to be a, like about Tetris. the game Tetris right. in, made into a movie, and it's, I don't think it is. No, they say it's going to be a sci-fi thriller. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be uh, co-produced by an American and a, a Chinese company. Right. And it's got an $80 million budget. The first yeah. movie does. Right. They said it's going to be a global film for a global market. It's right. going to be a fantastic It's not going to be guys dressed as shapes <laughs> falling into place. That's no, not I actually is. think it's going to have to do with like alien invasion. It must. Uh, because I, I swear to God, if they don't go fucking shapes falling in place, I'm not watching it. Like you, know? you were totally gonna watch it anyways. Yeah, Tom Hardy. He, w- he wants it to be. He wants it to be about the thing that he that he thinks is gonna suck, so right. he can think the movie sucks. But right. I don't want to think it sucks. Yeah, you do. I think that would be great. Hey, let me get in here. You're a snug fit. <laughs> I'm a square. Well, I'm a T shape. Well, we don't fit. <laughs> Let's try to fucking get another shape. That's not, and now it sounds like a great movie. <laughs> But yeah, so I am kind of in, like, there's nothing that we know now. But I. We know was, nothing. We know nothing. John I was Snow. thinking back of the, like the N64 reboot of Tetris when they did, like, Tetris World glo- and shit. It was a globe. Yeah, yeah, and remember they had, like, little in between scenes of these aliens and shit? That's true. So I feel like, okay, maybe there is this deeper story behind Tetris that we don't quite know about. I don't think there's so. There's going to be. When and they're then, when they're done, there will be. And then the Tetris itself will just be like like a, a puzzle system as part of it. You know. Yeah. Do you think that we're trying to save the world with Tetris? Do you think we are? Yeah, one cube at a time. One cube at a time. <laughs> one cubit. So interesting. One adjacent shape at a time. Okay, we- I know. I want to talk to you guys about this. Yeah. 
Okay. Swiss Army Man. Swiss Army Man. Do you guys have any idea what this is? I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, Your brother. Um, (laughs) This is a movie. It has nothing to do with my brother. um, It does have something to do with Daniel Radcliffe. Do you know who that is, Chase? I do know that name. Hold on. Daniel Radcliffe. Um, Radcliffe. I watched that movie with him. That's Harry Potter. Nice. That's Harry Potter, yeah. Um, And he did a movie, like, he's he's kind of into, like, uh... Indie films now, like uh, he's got this one where he's out in the woods, and uh, it's kind of like a murderer movie. Horn, are you talking about horns? Yeah, yeah. Um, Which was fucking awful. But yeah, he's into that kind of stuff. Do you guys want to watch this trailer? Yeah, let's Radcliffe? do it. Radcliffe? Yeah. Yeah, let's go Daniel. Daniel. Horns was so funny. It like, started out good, but then it tried to get like too biblical and stuff. It was just... Ugh. Daniel Boone was a man. Swiss and, Army, man. And I think he was filming this in Portland. Um, so. Yeah, he was just here. All right, he, we're going to watch this uh, Swiss Army Man trailer, so you guys can just listen along. Let's uh, dim the lights. Or if you start, if you pull up the Swiss Army Man official Red Band trailer and hit play at 3, 2, 1, watch it with us. Dude, yeah, it would be, re- be a red screen that says rated R with sexual material. So, so get your lotion. Get your lotion out. You know, I had always hoped... That- Right before I died, my life would flash before my eyes, and I would see wonderful things. But as I was hanging up there... That dude's a fucking savage. He's yeah, from the Beach Boys. I didn't really see much of anything. He's from There Will Be Blood. He was like, I fuck. See you. This is crazy. I thought you were dead. Am I dead? I don't think so. You're talking. That's Harry Potter. Uh, You're special. I'm special. You're like the multi-purpose tool guy. uh, And that's why I need you to help me get home. You want to go home so you can have love. But you ran away because nobody loves you. Shut up. You can't just say everything that comes into your head. That's bad talking. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh! That's a boner. What's happening? <sighs> Manny, I think your wang is guiding us home. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> what, the what the fuck? People don't like other people's farts. Is that why you don't fart in front of me? I just like to do it alone. <laughs> or hold it in. That's what you're supposed to do. That's so sad. We sang and we danced. And it was beautiful. God, no, <laughs> don't, don't be afraid. What the fuck? Dude, it's like Weekend at Bernie's. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? That looks so crazy. What do you think about that, Chase? That's going to be my new favorite film. You like that? Man, the lights are back on. I got real tired during that. <laughs> well, you turned the oh. lights off. Oh, I can go for So that's Swiss Army Man. Wow. wow. <laughs> that looks crazy. So Harry Potter He's is step- a, de- a dead guy. Yeah, what the That's hell? not quite fully dead. And his boner's a compass. Right. He's just useful for all things. It looks like he was putting stuff in his mouth and making him a gun, basically. Yeah, yeah he's fire. His can- farts are magic. <laughs> Whoa. That uh, was fucking mind blowing. What a weird thing. <laughs> that is badass. Do you think it's going to come out in theaters? <laughs> yes. You think? Yes, I do. You th- I think it might be too weird What's for that theaters. guy's name? Paul Dano? Yeah, he's yeah, a crazy so. actor. Remember him in There Will Be Blood? Yeah, and he was. Uh, he's an intense dude. I don't know if I like him. Young Brian Wilson? Yeah, I like him, mm. but he's intense. Dude. I like him better than the goddamn dude from Whiplash. Yeah, that guy's not that good of a I don't remember his name because I don't like him. The kid? So I try not to think about him. Yeah. Because mm. he bothers me. Why? Because mm. you don't like drummers? 
Yeah, mostly I'm just not a fan of drummers. Yeah, drummers kind of uh, piss me off. Do we got any more movie news, Abba? Anything else you want to talk about there? Um, there's a craft reboot, it looks like. Um, there's also a Rocky Horror Picture Show reboot. Ooh, we just really? got the trailer for. Zeb would like that. He likes. I don't. I've never seen the old one. But... Men that dress up and dance. Well, so we got Wesley Snipes teasing a new blade. Oh yeah, new that, blade not, potential. Nah. Is he out of jail? I don't know. He's not in jail. Uh, yeah, I don't think he ever. Really... In, yeah, he was in jail for tax evasion. He got in trouble, but I think he's. No, he went to jail, dude. I think he's all right now. No, Google it. I said I think he's all right now. He's broke. Which is why he needs to do another Blade movie. He's like, please give me he's something. He's doing okay. He's get, he's making Whoa, money. am I deleting him? Yeah, I don't know shit? what you're doing. <laughs> but he's not like fucking Eddie Murphy rich or anything like that. No, but he still makes money off of all the stuff he's done. Man, a lot of bet. I bet he, he, he went to jail for tax evasion. Google so it. They, I guarantee Google they, Wesley Snipes net worth. All right. I guarantee they took most of it. The IRS probably did. Uh, I'm going to look this up. Thor 3? Dude. We got news. Okay, so Mark Ruffalo, who plays Wesley Bruce Snipes Banner, worth. Um, mm-hmm. says that Thor 3 is going to be an intergalactic Jobs buddy hired. road movie. Wesley Snipes, <laughs> right. an actor, film producer, and martial artist with a net worth of $10 million. Yeah, it sounds like he's having a real hard real time. Broke. Ten. That's not great, though. I mean, let's compare him to like Eddie Murphy real quick. Let's compare oh, him to you. Eddie Murphy. What's your net worth, didn't Chase? Get in... uh, nothing. Okay, there you go. And what does Eddie Murphy have to do with Wesley Snipes? I mean, they're both black. Yeah, exactly. Came out at the same time, you know? Eddie Murphy didn't get in trouble for tax evasion. Uh, Eddie Murphy, I would say, had a much bigger career and long standing They both career. actually have a Michael Jackson connection, though. Really? The Wesley Snipes got his uh, for big break in the Michael Jackson bad video. Uh, I don't know why. I, I like looking up people's net worth. Yeah, because you're... Money grubbing. Yeah, so, no, so what does that mean? That. It's not even intergalactic that. road buddy movies. So you think it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be funny. It's gonna be Thor and Hulk out in space, which is gonna be great. I think because you know they are like that's that's definitely more comic driven. They totally. are intergalactic. They're I think fucking... that was my least favorite thing about Civil War was that it didn't have those guys right in oh and so i listened to an interview with anthony mackey who played the falcon yeah and he was saying he goes yeah there was a lot of complaint about that but if you think about it, civil war was all about the stakes at hand that we had real people here that could die thor and hulk are like godlike you know they right. it would be ridiculous totally. them to die so it was kind of a good choice to not have them there well and then it sets time. up perfectly for us to have this movie right because they're off planet doing some other crazy shit yeah which this is going to be chase's favorite i guarantee you thor and hulk will be chase's oh, yeah. favorite avenger oh yeah movie so it'll be interesting and then i guess they're looking already... at me he has no idea what we even just talked about <laughs> What? <laughs> and then I guess they're already getting set up uh, like later this year or something to start filming the new Avengers, the Infinity Wars. Which I think now, changing those are getting retitled. That's what right. I read. Which makes me wonder if they are even going to be then what they should be, which is like finally the connection with Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet and stuff. Or maybe they're going to go with an Infinity Gauntlet title. That would be tight. That would be cool. Um, So, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, you know what? Back to X-Men real quick. I read that the after credits scenes from X-Men are pretty big, Hmm. like – in showing where they're going next with the X-Men story. Interesting. Yeah, we got to go see that for shizzle. Yeah, we should have just done that. Comics real quick? Yeah, let's talk some comics. I read a lot of comics Ooh. these last couple weeks. Yeah. I got back into it and just started reading all the ones I hadn't read yet. Yeah, you read some titles that I haven't even heard of yet or that I haven't looked into. Yeah, I, have, I picked up a few different number ones of stuff that I was that was new to me. Um, the Goddamned, which isn't brand new. Like, mm-hmm. that's came out earlier this year but uh it was really a really good read interesting uh devolution do you know that one Mm-mm. um it's awesome really? i full-on recommend it is it I think more sci-fi like it. more fantasy they're kind of the same they're real similar the uh, goddamned in devolution yeah it, it's because it's very very primitive worlds okay, okay um i think the evolution is more like future and we've kind of something happened a virus or something, and people just got dumb. And they were like cavemen again, kind of. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Which is uh, like what I believe happened. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um, that and then Archangel, which is uh, William Gibson 
uh, based on one of his books, and right, it was right. kind of hard to follow. And I don't know. I'm, it's one of those where we're going to have to read a couple in probably to understand what it's all about. Interesting. I finished uh, Batman TMNT. Me too. Fuck, man. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't want it to be over. But it did say at the end for now. But yeah. you uh, you went out of your way to get that comic book. I mean, I I had to... I. I had to go to different places to get all six of them, yeah. Which is kind of cool. So that was a good one. <laughs> it was. Good. It was yeah. worth it. It was totally worth it. It was cool. And it, I'm, I'm full on, like, I got a TMNT boner again. Like, Here. I'm all about the Turtles right now. Yeah, yeah. dude. Between that, the, that series and the game and the yeah. new movie coming out, I'm stoked. Oh, Mikey, yeah. Mikey. And that new movie's sure. soon, huh? Sack, so fun. Yeah, the movie comes out in just a matter of, I think it's July. No, I don't know. It's oh. soon. It's real is soon. Is it like less than two months? Something like yeah. that. I think it's less than a month, actually. Really? Let's look it up. It's it's before Ghostbusters. <laughs> Good. Ghostbusters go is, see that. is July. You TNT's guys can go see that. Here. That's one like where oh, I I'm go. I'm going to go see that one, too. That's one where like I show up and I go, no, I'm not buying anything. I'm not going. Like I have it today. So soup. You're gonna, oh, like, no, you're I'm not gonna, eating. You're going to show up, but I'm not going in. Yeah, I'll sit out in the car. <laughs> what about Heartthrob number two? Oh, dude, I don't think I've, I've picked it up, but I haven't read it yet. I read it. Yeah. Is it good? How'd you feel? It's cool. Yeah. Sabella, man. And he's I love Sabella. That dude's work. badass. He's getting some work. He's writing a new series for Robert Kirkman. Yeah, Demonic. Demonic, which is another almost like outcast, almost like preacher shit. Seems like that might be Kirkman's But, but I think it'll be interesting to give – he's giving Sabella that chance to work on. I think that'll be really cool. And he's got an interesting take on things too. I really like the way – Sabella writes. He's a good writer. He's a good writer. And so I believe word is that he just released I Lived in a Clown Motel. Oh, it's out really? now? Yeah, I like small that. press kind of run. Like, I don't know. I was going to hit him up about it and see where we can find it. So I'll figure that out and let you all know. Yeah, that, You know what? We went to that comic, the Frankenstein comic book swap That's last right. Weekend. Line Works in Northwest. I'm whatever. surprised that Sabella didn't have something going on there. Uh, he's probably just busy or something. Why but would we, he? But we did meet... Because uh, Ale- he's got new stuff out. Oh, is that where he likes to put it out at? Okay. <laughs> but uh, we met Alex Robinson there, who I'm uh, going to talk to about getting on a, as a guest on this show. Um, he writes some Just awesome have him books. not listen to this episode. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> you're, Jesus. You're going to sleep, man. Yeah, you're going to sleep, it seems. Real bored. Um, I checked out DC Rebirth. Um it was it was cool, but it was hard for me to get through. I'm just not a DC guy. For some reason, their characters just don't grab me the way Marvels do. Yeah, I feel like Marvels characters are just relatable. They're funner. They're easier to get into. DCs always seem so serious. Yeah, it's just because they're more mainstream. I'm going DC, man. I'm going against the green. But then uh, Captain I mean? America, there was a bunch of – Captain America basically uh, – DC was finally, okay, we're going to have our time. We're doing the rebirth. We're going to put out all these new things. And then Marvel, of course, kind of trumped them with uh, the Captain America, Steve Rogers, number one, um, which caused a lot of controversy. Wow. Really? Yeah, How dude. come? Um, because basically, spoiler alert, at the end of the first issue – Throughout it, you're having these flashbacks of him, his childhood and stuff. And at the end, oh, you Captain see him. America? Yeah, and at the end, you see him throw his partner out of this helicopter and go hell Hydra. Huh. And so the whole thing is, Captain America was a fucking Hydra agent this whole time. So he, he's evil. Captain America turned heel. Yeah, he's yeah. a heel. He's so. like when. When Cain rises out of the grave, exactly. But now right. there's like a that. there's a lot of people are pissed about this, um, especially in the Jewish community, because Captain America was he was the Jewish hero. He fucking is famous for punching Hitler in the face. Hydra is supposed to be basically Nazi it's Nazis. Germany. It's the Nazis. And now for them to take this hero and go, oh, he was a fucking Nazi this whole time is like a slap in the face. At the same time, it's a good comic book. Well, and that's the thing is it's like they want publicity. And, yeah. of course, with new series and stuff, they're always, you know, people die all the time. Um, people are clones. People are, you know, they have – They've been programmed to do something, brainwashed, um, which is interesting because the writer of this came out and said it's none of that. It's not the usual. It's not that he's – he. this is Captain America right here, but you're going to have to read the rest and find out. Oh, okay. That's like, fuck, man. (laughs) People are all emotional about it. People are pissed. I I could see Captain America being a heel. 
Especially after this last movie, I mean. Well, right, and it kind of, but but he's kind of a rebel. You but know? he was a rebel, but he was in the right of things. Like you know, it, he stood up even more as a hero. I think in this last one of being like, even when he has to disagree and go against the grain and what people are deciding, he's making the right moral choice. Right. So it's interesting, and there was another whole thing with the fucking trending hashtag of give Captain America a boyfriend, and people <laughs> yeah. really want to see Captain America be gay. <laughs> do, think do you think hilarious. it's that they want Captain America to be gay, or do you think it's that they want Chris Evans' Captain America to be gay? I, that's probably more it. They probably just want him to be gay. <laughs> but it's like he had a girlfriend and all this yeah, shit. Yeah, he's so, kind of in love well, with Bucky. Yeah, that's true. Is apparently. he gay? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You're having a rough one. He's not though. Nobody's gonna uh, listen to this shit. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know what Marvel Now is? Marvel Now? Um usually isn't that just their like previews? I don't know. It's I usually... just saw a big thing and so I wrote it down, but uh, I don't know what it means. <laughs> I think Marvel Now is usually their preview issues. They'll be like, here's Marvel Now and it gives you a little taste of oh, okay. like the newer stuff that's coming out. Um, I guess the last thing I want to talk about comic book wise was Scooby Doo Apocalypse. Dude, it was badass. Right, and I shat, on, I shat on it the last episode. And was like, I don't fucking get it, but and it I great. still have a little bit of like, yeah. But knowing now that they went an adult route, that it's not for kids, like, cool. and they did vegan jokes and strong, Scooby, strong Scooby first says poop. Strong first. So you issue. read one panel. Scooby didn't <laughs> say poop though. Shaggy he said didn't poop. say poop. He had a poop emoticon. That was kind of cool, the whole technology thing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I fuck it. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, it was I'll, a strong I'll, first issue. Yeah, it was decent. And I thought that it was cool to kind of get this really serious side of things. And, and the like, fact that they met at like Burning Man, but it was called like Blazing Man. Blazing Man. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Da- Daphne was hot. Yeah, of course. I mean, she of course. always was hot. But yeah. Calm, dude. Velma was a little geeky. I like the geeky hot thing. Yeah, but... Uh, are you actually asleep? Or are you just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, why are you playing with your dingus? Playing uh, with so, my dingy. Yeah, it was interesting. It wasn't bad, and it was it was actually kind of entertaining. And so, fucking, I guess I take back what I said. Hey. I still don't like Shaggy's stupid mustache and gauged ears. God damn it. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to look it up. I bet that fucking the writers that comic live here in Portland. Could be. I bet they do. Let's look it up right now. Let's uh, let's get Chase involved here real quick. Chase, let's why don't you tell to. us about uh, what you learned here these past couple weeks about Rick Springfield? Hello? <laughs> Oh, are you awake? He's got one of the top. You were so excited about this uh, that well, night when you got just, to tell me about it. He has one of the top Star Wars collections in the world. Ah. Like he has one of two like type toys. You know what I mean? Like nice. Like shit where he can't he doesn't even he can't even enjoy these toys cuz they're in fucking safety deposit boxes. Nice. You know what I mean? How did you learn about all this? Just a podcast. <laughs> um, he was on there. And then I researched What him. podcast was it? Oh, it doesn't matter. And then uh, we don't need to give um, anybody. Joe Rogan. Yeah, we wouldn't <laughs> want to blow anybody up accidentally. No, he was on Opie and uh, Jimmy. And uh, it was really inter- It was really interesting. So, like, he, he was on uh, this show called, uh, it was like a doctor show. Um Fuck, what was the name of it? Hold on. Uh... <laughs> he was on a doctor's show. Dude, do you know the name of it? It was like a fucking General Hospital. So he was on General Hospital. Um, he was the doctor, and then he had this song that came out. Um, real popular song. Kind of the same time. And then People know who Rick Springfield is, Chase. I don't, though. <laughs> So I found out, and then he's got this crazy uh, collection. And then you can go and YouTube his Star Wars collection. It's pretty tight. So So do that. I need some weed. (laughs) I don't know if you need to be any more calm. Dude, I went to uh, Target and Toys R Us yesterday, and they got the new uh, Turtles toys. For the new movie, really, and they're pretty crappy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The um, the, the turtles toys just haven't been fucking good for. A I while. liked the figures they put out for the last movie. They I thought they right. were. It, 
I mean, I, I thought still they like were, the ninja, uh, the Nickelodeon ones. I th- feel like they were well made, they and the square. detail was good. The detail on the new ones is non-existent. Interesting. Do they look square and flat? Well, they're cartoon. They're supposed to look like how the cartoon looks. And the cartoon yeah. looks like that. Yeah, it looks terrible, just, right? Like it doesn't look. It's cool. a good cartoon. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool. cool. But it just looks weird. It looks Does it kind look weird. It looks like how the video I, game looks. Yeah, I, it almost looks weird, right? <laughs> I guess. Like, I don't sure. know. Like, I mean, I, I I don't know. It's, I mean, it's however you feel about it. Yeah, they look square. They, they almost look like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. almost like ragdoll. But isn't, aren't they supposed to be releasing some kind of, like, retro type figures for Ninja Turtles? Well, okay, so at San, San Diego Comic Con, uh, NECA, which is the National Entertainment Collectibles Association. Mm. Mm-hmm. I huh. guess they made uh, an exclusive set of figures based on the '90s arcade game. Oh, it's an exclusive. See, and that's what I want. You that's, can get. You can. Well, that's they, why they're I on get, eBay. They popped that's up. That's why I buy the '90, you know, the '88 figures. Yeah, that's yeah, what. Like that. That's what I want my turtles to look like all the time. Like one, two, and three. That's what I want my turtles to look like. You know what I mean? Like, as far as movies goes, as far as toys go, like, you know. Even songs, like fucking go ninja go. So they had a they had a, a, a big set uh, that was all four turtles plus Bebop and Rocksteady for fifty bucks. I didn't buy it, but it was cool. Hmm. That's the one thing that I was like, I kind of wanted. Right, like this right. is tight. But they also have a we've seen this before at Toys R Us. They have a set. It's all Leonardo, and it's all the different versions yeah, of them. Yeah, those There's are like kind of cool. eight or nine That's figures cool. in this set, and it's like from those. The- I like to just kind of show the differences and see how much more badass because the they turtles used have evolved <laughs> a lot. They changed every in- incarnation has been. Oh yeah, from even when they were different. first designed, you know, yeah. like they didn't have different colors, and they were, you know, right. It's interesting. Hmm. So badass. Um, I got a bunch of badass. The, the book school. that I've been reading, first. Star Wars Bloodline. Which is the one yeah. that takes place six years before The Force Awakens. Right. God, that shit sucks. Really? It's so frustrating. It's it's just... You want it to be good, though, right? I, I want it to be. I would love it if it was good. Yeah. And Ooh. supposedly there's stuff in there that's important to the story. Like, there's at least one or two but pieces like of information. To get out of it. Huh? The story's just so dumb. Why is it everything that's... Expanded Star Wars universe is always about goddamn senators and shit. All right, it's the worst. Like that's, but so that's boring. why like the old like expanded universe stuff. It right. was really fucking interesting, and it was just all story and action. But I think that's the thing now with these with the new stuff. They're trying to keep it so canon that they're just trying to get really political and right. and more into that the rather thing than about delving into any actual character. The original Star Wars trilogy was that. It was in the moment. This is what's happening right now. And we don't give a shit why it came to be necessarily. I mean, we get a little bit, you know, but when he went back, George Lucas went back and tried to do the prequels. And And that was the big fault. Made it all about government. The trade routes. We want these trade routes. It's like nobody fucking cares about the trade routes. You know what's tight about Lucas, though? Like, so he sold... Star Wars to Disney, right? For yeah. like a lot of fucking money. Really? Was it four billion? Five four billion. billion. What did he do? What and was this? he set aside a little chunk of money um for himself, um, where he's gonna make films for himself. He's not gonna show anybody of them. They're not for the public. He just wants to make movies for himself. Which I think is kind of badass. So you know what he did you with the rest there? of the money? Uh probably Jerked off a lot in the undies. He donated a shit ton. Yeah, he donated a lot. He's a good lot. dude. Yeah. He's a good person. But the fact that he's going to make movies for himself, I thought it was kind of cool. You know? <laughs> They're just super wacky. I'm like, hey! I'm, I bet he's like, I'm finally going to make a Jar Jar origin film. Yeah. Finally. I bet he's doing some weird stuff, like with puppets and stuff. <laughs> like, getting in there. But. Well. <laughs> All right. Strong finish. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> We didn't do anything nope. this weekend. Didn't go anywhere. I went to the emergency room. You went room. somewhere. <laughs> you went to the emergency room. You got on that good and good. Mm-hmm. Me and Chase did go check out a place called Bill Moe's Yeah, we went in Vancouver. Some, it was good. And had some cheesesteaks. And nice. apparently they have a pizza place right next door. It was too. good. I had a uh, Wiz Fries. Ooh, Wiz Fries. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. I left there feeling not very good, though. Yeah, he had so much cheese Whiz. 
that later he was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have had so much cheese whiz. <laughs> I should probably lay down for a little while. That's pretty while. much any time I eat cheese Whiz. Cool. Any I of think it, that's right? too much a cheese Whiz. I think processed cheese is like one of my favorite foods. Yeah, he so. discovered also that. like the worst He thing. discovered that this weekend, that processed cheese is his favorite food group. That's <laughs> not good. But it's, hey, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. No, man, you shouldn't. You know, I won't tell you how to live yours either. If you want a processed cheese, I'll eat it. Do it however you want. Every now and then, you know. You just fucking get the old jar open. Just fucking go to triple B podcast dot com dot com and follow us on all the social medias and the Googles and the iTunes and the all of internets. It. All of it. I ate too much soup before this episode. We'll re record this. If you want to do uh, your we'll own podcast, one out, one out. if you got a podcast idea that you think the world needs to hear, Zebulon go to Dak. go to Zebdak dot com and let me know about it. Because he can produce the fuck out of a podcast. We'll talk about it. I can't. I, I can't. I can't guarantee good content, but I can guarantee you halfway decent production. Good product, not decent. Good production. Um, content is up to you. Yeah, you got to steal the ship. Concussedcreations.com. Dot com for apparel and your other needs. Look at Portland Underground Recording. Dot com and check out Digital Snarl Photography and the Vapor Vandals and Insomnia. Research Collective. Check out <clears throat> twitch.tv slash Abaddon1. Abaddon1. Twitter.com slash Abaddon. Yeah, I'm going to get back to Chase is going to do one. a new From the Basement here one of these days. Nah. So you should ch- look out for that. And also... Maybe, uh, though. Maybe. <laughs> at ChaseFTB on Twitter. Yeah, I got 12 followers. Tweet him. Oh, He's tweet. got 12. He needs at least three more. Tweet me. To Say be it. official. Um, I'm I'm me your BHLs. So I'll look at them. Wow, he will. He'll check them out. He'll even rate them. Yeah, <laughs> he'll let you know if he thinks they're good or not. I will rate your BHLs. I will. Your I know butthole good, lips. I know, um, I know a good butthole if I've seen do it. Do you guys got any regrets? Um, no. I'm just really tired. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I wasn't very here today. But I wasn't expecting to be. Um, oh, so even though it. we decided we were going to yesterday. Yeah. You just assumed it wasn't going to happen. Well, anyway. I figured if Abba's going to be on morphine, like in. I'm uh, not on morphine. Does he sound like he's on morphine? No. I was get, I was on a morphine IV yesterday. So I I know what that's like, though, the next day. Yeah, it, it, it's like that right there, really, right what you're now. you're doing? It's a real hang. You might, see, feel, it seems like is, you're the I, one that was yeah, on morphine. I took a doctor prescribed dose of morphine to stop actual pain Terrible that was pain. happening. Yeah. I wasn't just doing a bunch of it for fun. Just trying to get loaded. So I'm okay <laughs> now. Trying to get fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, shout out to Earl Stevens Vineyard <laughs> and the Mango Scotto. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. E40. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So he, make, he makes a pretty tasty little wine over there at the vineyard. Where does he uh, grow his grapes, do you think? I'm guessing he makes them somewhere in Central the Cali. Bay Area. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't. You, there's no grapes in the Bay Area. Are you either. fucking kidding me? That's wine country, you dumbass. Is it? Yeah, just outside of the Bay Area in the Northern Cali. It's and literally what we, we refer to as wine country in the United States. Wow. Wine country. <laughs> there's no grapes there. I thought, yeah, I thought that shit was more like. I think uh, like 92% of America's <laughs> wine is produced comes from there. In his backyard. <laughs> In E40's backyard. Is that where he lives? Yeah. Sure. I don't know. I don't have his address, so I'm not exactly certain. But I'm pretty sure he's a Oakland representer. Huh. Huh. We should uh <laughs> we should see if we can go do like a tour of his wine. Chase Chase promises on the next episode he's gonna try a little harder for you guys. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I promise. So thanks for sticking with us. This one just didn't feel everybody. like this this episode I just didn't think. Look, we were next doing time it. we're gonna do something. Calling the clerks. I wasn't even supposed to be here. We're gonna go mini golfing or something. Yeah, we'll fun. we'll do something hella fun. Okay, we'll have some energy. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. Good night. Until then, thanks for listening. I gotta go pee in the screen. Yeah, I gotta go pee.